We discussed regarding the morphology and anatomy of earthworm. In this episode, we will be discussing regarding the morphology and anatomy of cockroach which comes under the phylum arthropoda and frog which comes under amphibia. Now regarding the morphology of cockroach, the body is dorsoventrally flattened, it is elongated and segmented. The body is divided into three portions, the head, thorax and abdomen. It is covered by a hard chitinous exoskeleton. The head is triangular shaped and has a pair of compound eyes. The exoskeleton has hard plates which are called scleriths. A pair of jointed antenna is found in front of the eyes. The anterior end of the head has the mouth parts like pair of mandibles, pair of maxilla, labium, labrum and hypopharynx. The thorax is made up of three segments. They are the prothorax, the mesothorax and the metathorax. The head is attached to the prothorax by a flexible neck. The thoracic segment has a pair of walking legs which has the coxa, trochanter, the femur, the tibia and the tarsus. Their forewings are the tegmina and the hind wings they are used for flying. In the abdomen they have 10 segments which bear a pair of jointed filamentous anal styles. Anatomy, the digestive system. The alimentary canal, it has three regions, foregut, the midgut and the hindgut. The foregut is the mouth opening with two pairs of salivary glands. The mouth leads to the pharynx which leads to the esophagus and which leads to the crop. At the junction of midgut and hindgut, filamentous malfigian tubules are found which helps in the removal of nitrogenous waste. The hindgut includes organ like the ileum, the colon and the rectum which opens to the outside by the anus. In cockroach they have an open blood vascular system. They have the hemolymph which fills up the body cavity which is the hemocell. The visceral organs they are located in the body cavity and the hemolymph is made up of colorless plasma and hemocytes. Their heart is an elongated muscular tube which runs along the mid dorsal line of the thorax and abdomen. They have funnel shaped chambers each with a pair of ostia which is found one on each of the lateral side. The respiratory system of cockroach it is the network of tubes called trachea which open to the outside by spiracles. These trachea they divide and redivide into tracheoles. The air enters the spiracles which enters the body fluid and then to the opening of the tracheoles thereby bringing about the exchange of gases by diffusion. The excretory system their excretory organ are the malpighian tubules which are lined by glandular ciliated epithelium. They collect the nitrogenous waste from the body which is the uric acid and so they are known as urisotelic organisms and then passes it to the hindgut. The fat bodies, the nephrocytes and urisose glands are also meant for the process of excretion. The nervous system includes the ganglia, the brain which is a supraesophageal ganglia which supplies nerves to the antenna and the compound eyes. The sense organ are the pair of antenna, the compound eyes, maxillary and labial palps and anal cerci. The reproductive system of cockroach. 
In case of male, they have a pair of trilobed testes. From each testis, a vast difference arises which passes down through the seminal vesicle into the ejaculatory duct. They have an accessory reproductive gland which is mushroom shaped. The sperms form bundles called spermatophores and the external genitalia is the gonapophysis which is the phallomere that surround the male gonopore. Regarding the female reproductive system, the female they have a pair of ovaries which is actually a group of eight ovarioles which contains rows of ova. It has a pair of spermatica present in the sixth abdominal segment which is used for storing the sperms. The collateral glands are found in the female and they produce about 9 to 10 utheka each containing about 14 to 16 eggs. We will move on to the next organism frog which comes under amphibia. In case of frog, the body is covered by skin which is smooth and slippery. We can easily feel it that it has mucus on the skin and the body is divided into head and trunk. The neck is absent and we will see the presence of tail in the tadpole like stage. Above the mouth they have a pair of nostrils and if we have a close look at the eyes we find that they are large and bulging. The trunk is made up of a pair of forelimbs and hind limbs which are meant for walking, jumping, swimming and leaping. The vocal sacs are present in the males. Regarding the anatomy, the digestive system of frog, they have a large terminal mouth which leads to the buccopharyngeal cavity which has the maxillary teeth in their upper jaw, the vomerine teeth at the roof of the cavity whereas the lower jaw has no teeth. The buccal cavity leads to the pharynx which goes to the esophagus, then the stomach, duodenum, intestine and cecum. The gastric juices released are the hydrochloric acid and the proteolytic enzymes. Frogs generally carry out three types of respiration. When they carry out the respiration through the skin that is called cutaneous respiration, when it is through lungs, it is the pulmonary respiration and when it is through the buccal cavity, it is called buccopharyngeal respiration. Circulatory system. They have a closed type of circulatory system which includes the blood vascular system and the lymphatic system. The blood vascular system includes the heart, blood vessels. The heart is three chambered. It has two auricles and one ventricle which is covered by pericardium. It has the hepatic and renal portal system and the blood is composed of plasma and three types of blood corpuscles. The red blood corpuscles, the white blood corpuscles and the platelets. The excretory system of frog includes a pair of kidneys, the ureters, urinary bladder and cloaca. In kidney, the structural and functional unit are the nephrons. It is ureotelic organisms because they excrete nitrogenous waste in the form of urea. Control and coordination in frog. The nervous system and endocrine system play a very important role in frogs. The brain is enclosed in a brainy box which is called the cranium, which is divided into forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. The medulla oblongata continues into spinal cord which is enclosed in the vertebral column. The sense organs are the sensory papilla, the taste buds, the olfactory epithelium, pair of eyes, pair of tympanum and the internal ears. The endocrine system includes the hormones which are secreted by the endocrine glands. These are the pituitary, thyroid, parathyroid, adrenal, thymus, pineal, pancreas and gonads. 
reproductive system of frog. The females have a pair of ovaries which are attached near the kidneys. They have a pair of ovi ducts. The mature female lay about 2500 to 300 eggs at a time. They have external fertilization and the development of the egg to the adult includes a larval stage which is called the tadpole leg stage. The tadpole undergoes metamorphosis and develops into an adult. The male reproductive system includes the testes which are adhered to the kidney. They have about 10 to 12 vasa efferentia which arise from each testis which goes to the mesorchium, the kidney, bidder's canal, urinogenital duct, kidney, cloaca. Frogs are of great economic importance because they increase the productivity by eating away the insect and the pest. They maintain the ecological balance by forming important links in the food chain. They are also experimental material for the research and their muscular legs are also used as food. Let us have a quick recap of the portion we studied in this episode. Under the anatomy, we studied about the digestive system, the circulatory system, the respiratory system, excretory system, nervous system, sense organ, reproductive system. Under frog, we studied about the morphology of frog, under the anatomy of frog, we studied about the digestive system, respiratory system, circulatory system, excretory system, the control and coordination that is the nervous system, sense organ, the endocrine system and the reproductive system. We have seen in the structural organization in animals that though the organisms earthworm, cockroach, frog, they come under the animal kingdom. They have different body organization which differentiates them from each other. Thank you.